Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing kind of an unboxing of some things I've been purchasing but haven't gotten to yet. So I hope you like this video. You get to see what kind of craziness I've been up to. So I have wanted to try the Kat Von D lash liner and so I'm really interested to see how this lash liner works and how wonderful it is. I love how it looks like a stiletto. So fun. And it kind of looks like it has a bit of a sponge applicator. And it's really creamy. Huh. So I did put some black in there earlier. So you're not going to be able to really see other than I just blacked it out more. But I'm going to be curious to try this. This one is called Trooper Black. And again, I love that stiletto look. Super precious. I did fall in love with the Butter London Double Decker Mascara. So I will say that I have purchased some additional Double Decker Mascaras because my last one I have opened this past week. And I've, if I've got something that's my favorite, I have to have multiple backups because it drives me crazy that I might miss out or run out and then I'll be devastated. I went ahead and picked up these Stila shimmers. I want, I always get Sephora and Ulta confused, but I do love using these shimmer eyeshadows. So this one here is in called Kitten. I think I have a bigger version of this. I'm not sure. So if I do, that's going to go in someone else's giveaway. Um, this color Starlight here, very pretty. And then this is a Vivid Smoky Quartz. So looking forward to using those. I, I rather actually kind of use those when I'm doing a cut crease instead of kind of cutting it out and then putting eyeshadow on top. I just love these things to just be able to go ahead and jump right on that. One of my favorite brush cleaners is the Brush Bath. It's a purifying brush cleaner from IT Cosmetics. This one seems to work the best, meaning it doesn't make your brushes stick together and do weird things. It doesn't stay wet. It just gets rid of the excess eyeshadow and you're good to go. So I've purchased another one of those because the one I have, I'm down to about a third. And so I started worrying that I would run out of that before I got my backup. Once again, when I have a favorite product, I have to get a backup. So I've been doing um, people's nails recently, including my own. And one of the things that I wanted for the gel nails was to be able to use these containers. So to either put in alcohol so that when you're finished with the gel color, if you're doing gel polish, that you can just hit that on top. So I bought two of these from Amazon. One of them has alcohol. No, the other one has 100% pure acetone. So you can see I also got this from Amazon and I've already filled up the other one with that. But the 100% acetone works really well if you're taking off gel polish from your gel nails. So I'm doing both and I'm having a blast. Um, in this other box, since we're talking about manicures and pedicures, I'm going to show you some other things that I purchased. So I have this cuticle remover from Blue Cross. So you kind of put that around the base of your nails and you gently work it. It will quickly remove dead tissue and leaves the cuticle soft and love that. So I actually will probably put that in that extra little bottle there. Um, I have been working on some people's toes that can't reach them and they like one person in particular, their toenail grows into their skin and makes their toes bleed. And so when they pull off their shoe, their sock is a bloody mess and it makes it hard for them to walk. So um, I've got this ingrown toenail lifter and file. 
So basically I've been watching a bunch of YouTube videos to see how people help others that are, and they're formally trained, I'm not. I, I don't pretend to be formally trained, but I do watch YouTube. So this little bad boy will go up in where it, you can lift the toenail with this piece here and this will actually kind of remove that excess toenail so that it doesn't dig into the skin. So I'm totally thrilled about this. Um, the one thing that, you know, toenails used to gross me out. Actually, they still do. I have no lies to tell. But the, the thing is, I think when you find that there are people that can't do it and they're your loved ones, it's just a nice way to give back to them and get them so when they're walking or moving their fingernails or toenails, they, it doesn't hurt them. So very, you know, I've kind of really enjoyed this last year of helping people with things they can't do themselves. With that said, I did get this nice stainless steel um, manicure set to just kind of help do some more of the manicure and pedicures. This one here, since I use gel polish, um, this is a great gel polish remover. You kind of soak your nails and you run that on top. But these just, it's several little tools that I got from Amazon to be able to carry with me when I fly back and forth. And then that way when I'm out of town, I can help those loved ones with their, their issues, their little toes. And it's not bad. They're easy to clean and sterilize. And then I've got them for when I'm here. Next, I picked up the foundation called Lawless. And this comes in a really neat looking box. And I almost thought that I ordered perfume and didn't realize that I had ordered perfume. So the box that it comes in is amazing. And I got this in the color golden. So we'll be doing a all day wear test on that. Um, I Part of Sephora, you do get a lot of little samples and if you uh, basically save up a lot of points, you can get little samples or if you spend X amount of dollars, you might get a bag with samples in it. Which, so I've got a bunch of samples to try. This is from Glam Glow, Hello Sexy. We got some Bye Bye Pores. This is a poreless finish airbrush pressed powder. I got a 24 hour Becca foundation, which I just did a review on that. I'm not real sure if I released it or not. If I didn't, it'll be coming. I have some Tarte Mar Maracuja oil. Probably just butchered that. Mm -hmm. But I love me some oils. I love me some oils. Then we had the Atelier Cologne. This is an Iris Rebel. I ended up with some Sea Greens Body Wash. A little mini pencil from Julep. Uh-oh. Lorox Lippy. Beauty by Pop Sugar Lippy. Oh, I did get, this was from Amazon, a nice little brush or a nail file I can take with me. I did get some lights, camera lashes, a little mini sample for the Super Brow from Kat Von D. This I'm real excited about. So this I'm going to have to leave out, although I've just made a mess as I unpack all this stuff. So this is the NARS Lipstick and Orgasm. I love the color Orgasm in the lip, the liquid lip. So I was real excited about that one. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And to wear it with the Orgasm blush, like I'm gonna be NARS in it up very soon, very soon. I did get the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and while I was traveling, I was having an issue with one of my foundations. It was the wrong color because I've been out in the sun a little bit and so I did buy the Born This Way foundation and I can't find it in these boxes. So I'll be doing an all day wear test with both of those together. Then 
I saw this on another YouTuber, and I can't remember her name, but she mentioned using the Ren Clean Skincare Perfect Canvas, and that's how she's able to keep her um, makeup on her nose. And so, very excited about trying that. We have the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. Um, looking forward to trying that. Oh, and the YouTuber I was just mentioning that works really hard at, or she does this she basically uses the Ren Perfect Canvas and she uses the NARS and I'm trying to break into the NARS with my fingernail file. Hmm. She uses this NARS and this is in light to vanilla and she puts that on her nose before she puts on her foundation. So she uses the Ren then she uses the NARS and allegedly that's supposed to help keep the nose throughout the day. So we'll do a video all day to see if that that tip or trick from the other YouTuber works. Um, and I actually got two of each of these. The Lights Camera Action and the, the Lorac Lippy. And then I got some more strobe cream so that was exciting. Alright, so that finishes box number one. Box number two, I'm trying not to move because of stuff like I have it piled up. Box number two, basically I did pick up some eyebrow bits. I hate when my eyebrows get too long and so I like to sweep those up and then chop them off. Mm-hmm. I did purchase some alcohol, 99%, so that I can um, sanitize some of my palettes to give away. I also bought from Gerard Cosmetics their Slay All Day setting sprays, and each of these come in a different smell, like this is lavender. I've been using the rose, and then it has cucumber. I will say when you first put these on, they smell absolutely amazing. The good or bad piece is you, it does, the smell does not stay on for a long time. So as I just put that on, I can smell the cucumber, but it won't stay that long. So it's kind of a bummer because these things smell so good that I really wish that they would stay on my face because they just smell so good. One of my, uh, the YouTubers that watches my videos told me about the Ofra surprise bag. So I ordered the Ofra surprise bag. So we're going to be surprised. We're not. You might. I won't because I've already been in it. They did give you um, one of these that works great for a keychain. So I do like sometimes having something like that as I travel. I don't know what else to use it for but a keychain. I did get a nice new little green blender so that I like how soft it is. I hate those beauty blenders that are really um, sturdy but this is nice and soft so that's going to go in my new little egg holder. Isn't that cute? I got that on Shop Hush. They provided a lemon gold loose pigment eyeshadow. I did receive a Millennium Pink eyeshadow. I think that yellow and pink actually could look good together. It got a blush bronzer. This color is in format. They provided a greenish teal, excuse me, turquoise green. If I would have read, wait to read it, I could have told you. So that could go nice on the inner waterline. And then last is a liquid eyeshadow called Bossy Eyes and I love, love, love liquid eyeshadows. So I'll be keeping that out and off to the side. All right. I did uh, buy these glasses on Amazon. These are from Soho. I think I bought these for $9.99 and I bought a blue pair also. So I just love these little aviators. Just, they're comfortable, they're cute, and they're $9.99, so I can't really screw those up too bad. Then I purchased some more magnetic eyelashes. I've gotten several different types 
from online so you'll probably be seeing an updated video using some more magnetic eyelashes just trying to see which ones are budget friendly and which ones might be good as far as um, maybe they're a little bit more expensive but then yet maybe they perform better so i am trying i will be trying those uh let's see what else i got here oh i got a little clinique high impact mascara and um, some more of these little tools for false eyelashes then i wanted to show y'all i'll probably be using this and i may have I can't remember if I showed you all this or not, but I pulled it back out. So I bought this from Tarte, and I love how beautiful this is. And since I travel, I thought, you know, it might be great just to make my own um, travel colors. And so they fit right in there. They have a big mirror, but that is so stinking cute. Kind of reminds me like a Pete's Dragon. Isn't that pretty? I think it's supposed to be a mermaid, but I like Pete's Dragon better probably showing my age again okay and then last but not least I did get some dry shampoo paste I've never tried dry shampoo paste kind of curious what do you guys think of it do you use it how do you use it I don't know it just kind of freaked me out but thought it could be fun to use and then last but not least I did go ahead and purchase the original RCMA no color powder really really wanted to see how this works I know it's been around the industry for a long time I just never have gotten around to it so I thought that could be great to actually finally get around to it so that's my latest haul um, I did lose a video I had done a massive haul like this looks nothing like the last one I just did in fact I had to break it up in three different parts because it was so big and I was gonna have it in three different videos but I think I mentioned in one of my other uh, videos that that I put out is I lost like six different videos and that was it so this is a mini haul in comparison but a haul no nonetheless um, just some bits and bobs and different pieces and I also got the palettes for me that are the Jeffree Star cosmetics this one is called open here for nudes and then I also purchased the one love me love me not um, not only did I purchase a set for me I purchased a set for for the YouTube audience to say thank you for a thousand subscribers so there will actually be two winners for that giveaway and that video should already be up before this one but if not they'll be kind of back to back to each other and then that giveaway will go through September 1st at midnight and then on mine and my husband's 18th wedding anniversary I can go ahead and um, name the winners and so there'll be a winner number one and a winner number two and each one of the them will get one of these Jeffree Star uh, uh, palette or not palettes lippies lip mini lippy collections so I think that's kind of about it for right now I know I've got some other boxes I've got to go through for some additional videos but this at least gives you an idea of what I'll be playing with very soon so anyways I hope you like the video um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.